the privilege to deliver this uh, little paper on the efficacy of imidocarb and uh, the menacing saturate in the treatment of natural bovine babesiosis. And I'm from Nigeria. You know that this condition, also known as tick fever or cattle fever, is an important life tick bone disease, particularly in the tropics and uh, subtropical regions of the world. And Babesia organisms are very common parasites with worldwide distribution. And they generally have, as we saw the, in the discussion by uh, Dr. Uweti, have two classes of hosts, an invertebrate host and a uh, vertebrate host. The maintenance of these uh, parasites is dependent on both uh, of these uh, hosts. And uh, both Babesia bovis and Babesia bigeminia are the two economically more important uh, species in cattle. And the third species, Babesia divergence, which causes uh, similar mortalities uh, has been identified in some parts of Europe. Uh, the the protozoan parasites, Babesia bovis and Babesia bigemina, they have fed cattle in those regions and therefore they impose a great economic burden as a result of mortality, treatness, abortion, loss of milk and meat production, and drought power and from control measures, and their imp uh, its impact on international cattle trade. Uh, this international cattle trade involves, you know, the attachment of the ticks to the skin uh, to cause holes, and then such uh, height and skin will be re uh, rejected at international cattle um, international trade. So these parasites are transmitted transoverially by the tick vector, particularly. Bufilos decoloratus and Bufilos macropolos, and to a very uh, less extent, Axodix rhizinus. The infection this parasite cause is generally characterized by extensive erythrocytic lysis, leading to anemia, icterus, hemoglobinuria, and eventually death. And we have uh, several. Uh, therapy techniques against these organisms, and three Babesia sites, namely quinuronium sulfate, amicabalide, isosonate, and diminacin saturate were available in most European countries for the treatment, the treatment of uh, bovine babesiosis. In the early 70s, a fourth one, imidocap dipropionate, was introduced, and uh, it rapidly became the product of choice in those countries that licensed it before uh, because in addition to its therapeutic utility, it also proved to be an effective prophylactic, as effective as twice the therapeutic doses. The statement of this problem. Huge costs due to babesiosis are incurred during outbreaks in endemic countries, such as my dear nation, Nigeria. Therefore, the need for effective therapeutic approach for this devastating bovine uh, disease in the feed is extremely important. Justification. Babesia organisms are susceptible to several Babesia sites, few of which are available commercially in the market, and treatment with long-acting oxytetracycline following vaccination will significantly reduce parasitemia and red blood cell destruction without inhibiting development of immunity. However, oxytets are not usually able to control virulent field infections. Because most farmers, particularly in my country, they are in the, in the habit of using uh, oxytetracycline, particularly the long-acting type, to treat this condition. But we have found out that the virulent field infections are not easily controlled by the use of oxytets. The comparative efficacy of imidocap and diminacin in the field Treatment of bovine babesiosis has not been well researched in Nigeria. Therefore, we uh, set out to compare the efficacy of these two drugs in the treatment of natural bovine babesiosis in Nevada, southwestern Nigeria. Uh, we use a semi-intensively managed cattle herd 
and the breeds of cattle used were the zebus, and the zebus are the animals in Africa. They are the animals that have humps. White Fulani, Sokuto Gudali, Red Bororo, and um, two or three of their crosses. And uh, on this farm, we had 40 bulls, 220 cows, but only 20 bulls and 104 cows were found to carry natural babesiosis in this farm. And the animals were identified by use of uh, white egg air tags. Just something like this was used by the, the, the researcher and we were able to identify them, attack them so that we could follow up the treatment and the sample collection. And uh, age estimation was by dentition technique. We were able to identify uh, age groups of these animals. And the blood collection was by jugular vein puncture. Uh, only on the positive animals, the blood samples were collected. And about eight mil of blood was divided into two equal volumes one for hematology, the other one for serum. And uh, the uh, positive animals were treated with the two, gro the, the two uh, drugs. That is, we randomly divided the animals, the positive ones, into two groups. Group A were, were treated with first drug. The group two animals were developed, were treated with uh, the second drug. And these are the various techniques used in the course of the study, PVC, red blood cell count, hemoglobin concentration, and the MCV, MCHC, and MCH were all calculated from the hematocrit uh, uh, values. And glucose uh, uh, was determined using one touch basic life scan in situ. And potassium uh, level was determined using uh, high performance liquid chromatography, and uh, we we clinically evaluate tick infestation. We use clinical parameters such as uh, heart rate, respiratory rate, pulse. We also use, uh, we also take the rectal temperature of each of the animals. And we use Gimsha staining for Babesia organism identification in the field. And uh, data analysis, chi square test, and ANOVA, one way ANOVA. And uh, in the presentation of the results, very sorry, we use. Uh, uh, mean with the standard deviation to present the results. So these two drugs, imidocab, the propionate, that is commonly called imizol, was used at dose rate of 1.2 milligram per kg subcut for the group A animals. Diminacin acetorate, dofani, made in Holland, at the dose rate of 3.5 milligram IM intramuscular for group B animals. The treated animals were monitored for all the clinical parameters and signs every week. All the treated animals were bled and all the hematological and um, serology, you know, uh, serum sample parameters were determined every week. The blood samples were collected once in a week. All cattle were treated fifth week after the onset of clinical signs and when the arithmetic PCV value was 24% or less. All values were eventually taken and recorded two weeks after treatment in the two groups of animals. Uh, here is the picture of the researcher with my collaborator from uh, human physiology who actually provided the handheld uh, live touch scan, the glucometer for determination. And these are some of my students, undergraduate students, that we did this work together. The results, uh, I, I told you, different breeds of cattle were used. And um, for the white Fulani, we had 105 samples. Uh, only 30 were positive. For Sokudu Gudali, we had 92, 73 were positive for Babesia, for Babesiosis. Red Bururu cattle, 50 in the farm, 19 were positive. For the cross of White Fulani and Sokudu Gudali, out of seven, only one was found positive. For Sokudu Gudali and Red Bururu cross, six were found, 
on the farm, only one was found positive. And uh, for the Babesia organisms in general, per breed for white Fulani, we saw 10 of them being positive for Babesia buoys, and uh, six of them of the white Fulani being positive for Babesia bigemina. For Sokoto Gudali, 54 of them were positive for Babesia buoys, 20 were positive for Babesia bigemina. Red Bururu, 13, were positive for Babesia buoys, two were positive for, two, uh, for Babesia bigemina. And for the crosses, uh, nine of them were positive uh, carrying Babesia buoys, white Fulani, and Sokoto Gudali. Sokoto Gudali with uh, Red Bororo, uh, six of uh, five were positive for Babesia bovis and uh, two for Babesia by Gemini. Now, these are the, you know, these are the uh, clinical parameters, are the clinical parameters that we got, rectal temperature, like I told you, with the standard deviation before treatment, after treatment in each column, before treatment, after treatment. And the, the references were taken from original works that have been done, Rado Stitz and uh, Smith, large animal medicine, uh, internal medicine, has shown of the different ranges of. So, for instance, looking at this first one, rectal temperature for the white Fulani you see the middle cap that appropriate that that's where we are going. Uh, me, uh, mean, the mean uh, temperature before treatment was 39.5 and so on. So by the time after treatment, after two weeks, the temperature of the whole herd among the white flannel breeds of cattle, 15 of them, fell to 38.5 degrees. And the same trend was seen even for capillary refill time, heart rate, respiratory rate across the bridge. Whereas for diminacin acetate, after treatment for white Fulani cattle, their temperature, their mean temperature was 39.8. After treatment, it fell to 39.5 after two weeks using diminacin acetate across the three major breeds that we encountered. And uh, hematological uh, parameters, PCV, HP, and RBC. We saw the same trend for imidocarb treated uh, animals. You see increase, relative increase of uh, the values across the breeds and their crosses. And uh, they calculated hematological parameters, MCV, MC, M, MCH, and MCHC for all the uh, imidocarb treated animals. The hematological profile for diminacin acetate treated animals for the PCV, HB, RBC across the three main um, breeds of cattle. For instance, for white flanny, 26.9, 30.5 across the breed like that. Okay? And the MCV, MCH, and MCHC. The glucose level and the potassium, potassium level in the, uh, uh, in the animals that were treated with imidocarb before treatment. Uh, sorry, Dr. Jeremiah, one minute. Okay. One minute, okay. Um, we saw that uh, different breeds of cattle and some of their crosses were prevalent in Nigeria. And the overall prevalence of this condition uh, was 47.7. Therefore, this condition is a problem in Nigeria. Uh, the breed that is most susceptible is Okoto Gudali. The white Fulani breed does not seem to be susceptible because of the thick skin, because the arthropod needs to penetrate. Maybe that may be 
one of the reasons. And the rate of recovery from hypothermia, anemia, hypoglycemia, and uh, hypokalemia was faster using imidocal during this infection. Conclusion, the white flannel breed of cattle seems to be the most numerous in Nigeria. Bovine babesiosis is very prevalent in Ibadan, Nigeria. And, bovine, and Babesia bovis is more present. We can use diminacin acetate to treat, but not as imidocal diprofenate because the, it costs a greater recovery from all the parameters. That, so further studies uh, we, can, we can use uh, to approach this study, and these are the references. I thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Thank you.